Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video on one of the specific functions of an HTX powered radio. It's aimed at those of you that are relatively new to HTX, might be coming to HTX from FreeSky, Fataba, Spectrum, or maybe you're brand new to the hobby. Now there are links below to the rest of the videos in the series, as well as more advanced stuff as well. Don't forget you can find content by just looking for the thing you're interested in and adding Painless360 to your search term here on YouTube. So let's jump on the bench and let's talk about the topic for today. So in this video, let's talk about how you can reverse the direction of a channel. Now, most of the way it, what's going to work is that as you flick a switch, it's going to go to the maximum value. As you set up the sticks, they're going to go to their maximum values as well. So that's the default way that it works. However, there are occasions where you want to reverse the direction of a control, particularly if you are playing with something like RG Pilot, where the elevator or pitch channel needs to be reversed if you're setting up something like a flight controller using that system. But more typically, it's when you're setting up something like a car, a boat, a plane, a wing, or something else that doesn't have some kind of flight controller in it, and you find that the control output is moving the servo in the wrong way. And you can very easily fix that by just changing the direction of that control inside the radio. So let's say, for example, the servo that's connected to the aileron output on the receiver is moving in the wrong direction. How do we reverse the aileron channel, which in this case is channel one? Let's talk about how you do that. Now, as with most things in HTX, there's lots and lots of different ways that you can go about this. However, the way that I would recommend is using the output screen. You can change the direction of a channel by actually coming in and changing the weight. At the moment, the weight is 100 or plus 100. If you change it to minus 100, it would change the direction of the channel. I wouldn't recommend doing it that way when you're starting out. The way that I would recommend you do it is you come into the outputs, and this is where you can set the actual endpoints for things like the ailerons, elevator, all the other controls. At the moment, we are going to play with channel one, because if you remember, that's the one that aileron is on. So if we click on that and say edit, we have the ability in here to click on inverted. Once it's inverted, if we just come all the way out of that, you'll see that the stick and the output now are in an opposite direction. Why would I recommend you do it that way? Well, if you're doing it like this, you're probably playing with servos and that servo will be plugged into one specific channel. Occasionally I see new pilots who are playing with this get in trouble because what they do is they try and move things around earlier on and then when they're doing more complicated mixes later, they're having to then try and up correct that reversal that they've done previously in the model setup. So that's the way that I would do it. Just go into model, go into outputs, click and edit the channel that you're interested and click on inverted. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.